Here's the oncoming Bantamweight force out of the great nation of Georgia, repping Team Sarah Longo there on the northeastern side of the U.S. May Rob Dwalish Willie has been on the championship course for a long time. He's got a big fight in front of him tonight. All he does is win, John, and he wins in a certain way. He pressures you and he breaks you down. I have seen so many great Bantamweights fight for Rob Dwalish Willie, and you can see they start to lose, not only physically, but in the spirit. He attacks you at a level that's higher than just your body. He's a great wrestler. He will put a pressure pace on you that not many people can stay with. And I'm not sure that any athlete has ever muted Jose Aldo's offense as much as Dwalish Willie did back in 2022. And Rob, back under the bright lights tonight. Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Jan, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz, but this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory. I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Sugar Sean O'Malley steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner ladies and gentlemen presenting a reigning defending undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of the world sugar Shaw. herb dean our third man in the right. octagon for this right. one Good. All right, we are ready to get this round underway. And you know, Rob Dwalish really is a guy who probably doesn't need 60 seconds between rounds. He is the machine. There may be no more appropriate nickname in the sport. It's offense in bunches. He's one of the more offensive fighters in the sport. And uh, wouldn't be surprised, depending on how long the fight goes, to see north of 15 or 20 takedown attempts here tonight. And they're exchanging leather early. Looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Sean O'Malley. And another one, another strike from the top, lands for him. Crazy, accurate. 
you are seeing efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. And very effective with the ground and pound. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, that combination is going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Sean O'Malley. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now. And they can take in the applause because this oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, fly, grab, or wrestle. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, he's got to his spot. Oh, interesting there is he just decides to let him back up. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. That was a good game. Nice right. That's a really strong leg kick there by Sean O'Malley. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. So he lands a combination of knees here in the clinch. All of those going right to the body. Got to do something defensively here. This could be the beginning of the end. You got to protect the midsection. You got to get the hand down across the body so that that knee is not landing to you. You better be aware. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Stuff to take down, no problem. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Short uppercut here in the clinch by Dwellis Wolf. Collar tie here in the clinch. Went for the inside leg kick. Dwellis really gets hit with that overhand, and that one hit hard. Unable to connect with a right hand. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, big Superman punch there! Final seconds here. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking, but then when his opponent tried to string combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. 
And just misses with that big right hand. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the rest were willing to stand and trade and prove it to the table as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take him out very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Sean O'Malley. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he has he set up a beautiful submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Nicely done. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by O'Malley. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. He passes to half guard. O'Malley's pass is denied. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. O'Malley's back in half guard. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. There it is, now he's going to mount. In the half guard. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Dwallace Willis right back to the full mount here. Big ground and pound. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Dwallace Willis. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Side control is pretty safe there. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body. Out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, he's got his back. My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grapple exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Able to check that kick as well. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart.
You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Nice jab there by O'Malley. Set up to the leg kick. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him, hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, we have to try to find this out again. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this round. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart. There it is again. Look at that. Low kick is there. All right, so a seven will blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that, well, you gotta think it's only a matter of time. Yup, referee stopping the action here. That swelling is getting out of control. This might be the end, DC. It's bad. I mean, it's a lot of swelling. And it's the damage that he has taken over the course of the fight that is making him swell to a point that I don't know if he can continue. Looks as though the doctor is gonna allow the fight to continue for the athlete. May wanna raise the guard a little bit. He's got to raise the guard. He's got to take some chances because he's very limited in what he can do right now with that much swell. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on his shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting... A huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be receiving end of those types of strikes. Dallas Lewis' forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Oh, nice level change. Dallas Willie's in half court. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Massive shot from the top. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Oh, great reversal to top position by O'Malley. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. He gets denied. Blocked. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. He's got to be careful here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Sean O'Malley. Mm, that was nice. <laughs> All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Dwallace Willie's in half guard. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. That's a lot of blood, man. I think I can smell the deep positive blood type from here. Yeah, he's bleeding quite a bit right now, and the blood's going into the eye. He needed to address this early. Now he's about to have to go into survival mode. O'Malley's doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. He's back in the clinch. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Really starting to bleed profusely out of that eye. It's not looking good, champ. Well, it's leaking down his face. The guy's been beat up, and now this cut has become a real issue. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. This huge knee land. Now some separation from his clutch position. 30 seconds now to go on the round. 
Jab attempt there. Fifteen seconds. Take down attempt late, and it's good. Oh, now he's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we ahead. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. The palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, Someone's gonna get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? As his opponent postures up, he opens it. O'Malley's in half court. All right, side control now. Oh, nice. Oh, right into Mo. His work, I'm gonna stand this hard. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nice shots landing from the top position. All right, so now we start to see some visible damage in the form of swelling as the ground and pound strikes continue to land. Referee helps you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bump, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Good work from the top here by Sean O'Malley. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. O'Malley's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Get him. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! oh he's on wobbly legs now. strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now. 
because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front. O'Malley goes for the takedown. He misses. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cross. Wallace Willie's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh! That'll do it! Sean O'Malley gets the finish! Oh my goodness, what a fight! The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 28 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Well, remember the name Sugar Sean O'Malley who gets his hand raised inside the octagon yet again here tonight. He had some doubters coming into this matchup, but again, Sugar Sean O'Malley finds a way to mute the naysayers. He has set himself up for a massive fight coming up next.